Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about best NVIDIA settings for Valorant on your Windows 11. So you have to try out these changes on your computer for the best for boosting your FPS and also as well as for improving the gaming performance. So let me directly get into step one by one. So the first one is all about you should be having the NVIDIA control panel. As you can see, if you don't have an NVIDIA control panel on your device, you can get it from the Microsoft Store. So just go over here, search for the Microsoft Store. Just go over, click on the Microsoft Store and you can search here on the Microsoft Store for the NVIDIA control panel and you can get it from here. So in my case, I'm already having the NVIDIA control panel. So I'm fine with it and would want to get into NVIDIA control panel, you can launch it up. So if you can go over here, right click or either you can go in this way, click on the show more options and navigate to the NVIDIA control panel. That's going to take you to this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make few changes here. The first and famous step is all about just click on the adjust image settings with the preview. And as you can see, this is by default on the use the 3D image settings. Change this one to use my preference emphasizing from the quality you have to change into the performance. And then you bring it back to the use the image fully settings over here like this and go for apply. And this is the first change you need to bring it on even be the control panel. And once you're done with this one, we have to bring the following changes. One among them is all about, you can just click on the manage 3D settings. And the first one is all about the image scaling should be turned off. Ambient occlusion should be turned off. And also anti-stropic filtering can also be turned off. And also three of these things, that is anti-aliasing FX AA can be turned off. Anti-aliasing gamma corrections can be turned off. And also anti-aliasing mode can also be turned off. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see we have background application maximum frame rate. This can be turned off. And also the CUDA GPUs can be set into all. And also the CUDA system fallback policy can be kept into the driver default. If you wanted to change it, you can just click on this one. You'll be having the drop IRO icon over here. But what I'm saying is we can keep this on the driver default. And what are the DSR factors that can be set into off? And also the low latency mode should be always kept into ultra. You can just go over here, you can change it if you want. It. but what i'm saying is you can keep this on the ultra and for the maximum frame rate you can keep this on off and also the multi-frame sample amfa -A can be kept off and the open gl gdi compatibility can be kept auto and open gl rendering gpu can also kept on nvidia geoforce gtx 165 super and also regarding the power management mode this can be kept into prefer maximum performance and also the very important thing is shader cache this should be kept into online over here so as you can see this should be kept kept into unlimited that's very important you can keep this on unlimited then you have to scroll down a little bit and we have to keep texture filtering and dystropic on and also the texture filtering negative load basis can be kept allow texture filtering quality can be set into the performance and also the texture filtering try linear optimization this is very important you have to keep this on and also the threaded optimizations can be kept auto and the triple buffering can be kept off of vertical sync this is very important you have to keep this off as well so these changes is very mandatory on a system and once you made these changes you can just go back and you can make the apply over here so these changes will be effective and once after you're done with this one if you go back to play nvidia settings for a valorant you can see you'll be having a lot of changes over here and this is what you have to do and i hope this quick video is helpful that's it bye bye